Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, I got a request to test uh, IOLO or however else that say they say that um, antivirus uh, or whatever it's called. So I went and downloaded the trial version. Oops, I gotta be connected. And uh, I guess you you don't download the actual uh, program. You download the downloader, download manager. Very small. I don't know how big, it's only four, like half a meg. Uh, well, there you go, as you can see, it's 25 megs. So I'm gonna pause here, and uh, if anything interesting happens during the install, I'll unpause the video. If not, I'll see you guys when it's all installed and updated. Okay, so it installed here. Um, nothing real special about the install. It asked me to restart, and I updated. As you can see, everything's up to date. And um, I was looking at some of the settings, and I'm going to turn on a couple things. Just I want to give it the best chance I can. Um, so if you go to the settings here, where is it? Okay, you can. I'm going to turn on artificial intelligence. I would suspect that that's basically heuristics. And I'm going to turn on macro variants, and again, use artificial intelligence for on demand scans. And I think that's the only thing I'm gonna mess with. I wanna I wanna basically give it as good chance as it can. So I'm gonna save those. I'm gonna close it out here. Let's see what kind of memory usage we got. Okay, so it's it's up there. To say the lead, you know. Yeah, it's it's using probably what fifty? If you add it all together, if you add it all together, something, something like that, 40 to 50, right around there. So, anyway, let's get started. Now, these are the same infections that I used in my advanced system protector review, and I know there's some nasty stuff in here. Er, so let's see how well it can protect me. I know there's a nasty rootkit in here. Okay, I don't think. Okay, so we got one by. This one doesn't work. Okay, no. Looks like it uh, caught that one. Okay, so that's good. Let's keep going here. If the computer crashes at any time, we know that that root kit uh, would have made it through. So we'll see here what happens. I don't remember which link it was, but I know that was one of these. I never even got a chance to get to the end, I think, in the other review. So I'm just going to keep, uh, and there you go, it crashed. So as you can see, it didn't stop that root kit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the video, and um, I'll be back after I get that root kit cleaned up with um, a bootable antivirus. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I just finished a scan with bootable Kaspersky, and I did fix that uh, root kit again. Just to show you, that's that's all I fixed, and uh, I'm gonna restart the computer right now, and I'll be back when it's done restarting. See you in a second. Okay, so I finally got the computer restarted here, and uh, I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff as you saw from previously uh, infecting the system. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to perform a full system scan. And there we go. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pause the video while this is scanning and I'll be back when it's all done. See you in a second. Okay, so it finished a complete scan and it found nothing. Wow. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to download uh, Malwarebytes, if I can. Let me get the internet connected here. And um, do a full scan with it. Just so we can see what uh, what was missed. So I'm going to pause the video while I install and do a uh, quick scan, just like I always do. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, so the scan just finished with Malwarebytes, and it says it found 15 things. Uh, definitely got a good amount of stuff on here, as you can see. Fake alert stuff. Um, got some stuff in temporary internet files, Trojan downloader, backdoor, rootkit still part of the system, hasn't gone away yet. So, um, as you can see, um, the antivirus basically didn't do uh, anything. IOLO antivirus or whatever. Um, not at least with the links that I could get my hands on. Uh, I know I didn't finish them all because I didn't get a chance to before that um, rootkit kicked in and uh, basically disabled the system. So there you go, that's my review for this antivirus. Um, definitely wouldn't recommend it. Um, as you saw, I did a full scan and they found nothing. So uh, definitely, in my opinion, not, not worth paying for it. I, I wouldn't even run it if I was giving it to me for free. And that's just my personal opinion, but they have a ton of work to do on this. A ton of work. Alright, I'm just going to leave it where it is and uh, that's it. I'll talk to everybody later.